Now, this one looks exquisite. It's the Maltese. Again, one of the white Mediterranean breeds. Evidence of the breed in Malta going back to Roman times and spread throughout Europe by the merchant traders. Now, there were at first a, a, a sleeve dog, which meant that the ladies put keep them in the sleeves of their dresses. They're, yes. suppo they're supposed to be compact and cobby with his white silky coat. And again, the dark pigmentation is much prized. And it's a coat that needs a lot of attention to keep it looking long and silky and soft and white as that. And the crowd love it. And the movement is just tremendous. There's something quite spectacular about a Maltese on the move. And this has a great track record. This was reserve best in show at the World Show in Helsinki last year. So, and look at that wonderful top line, exquisite dark eyes, and presented to perfection by the handler here. Visiting us from Italy. said you couldn't see past this one Frank well from here it looks wonderful the the Maltese cobby and compact this silky white coat level top line and this exquisite head and expression dark eyes dark pigmentation this looks irresistible from here we'd all like to have one of these in our city at home I'm sure it's come all the way from Rome to be here runner-up at the World Show in Helsinki last year. A last look. The boards are there. Steve Bardwell is about to make his decision. And he's walking straight. He can't see past the Maltese either. It's the Maltese from Italy wins the toy group here. And he look, looked a showstopper on the move. Four-year-old Shasha. From Rome in Italy, Sinisitas Shasha Baron, Baron Colon. In second place, the Pomeranian is come from Ireland. And seven year old, I believe. So it just shows. It is, it's a veteran. And marvellous, look and at that. And the Manchester Toy Terrier gets Group 3, the and English Toy Terrier, rather. And well deserved, and they're absolutely delighted, young Aren't handler they? there. Well deserved, they put on a sterling performance. And the peak gets the last spot. A Bert Easton has a triumph of sorts yet again as he takes Group 4. So it's the Maltese we'll see later competing for best in show. A very sporting young handler. There we are, the toy group winner is this exquisite Maltese from Italy. Owned by Francis Prosperi. This is an absolutely sweet dog with great character. Well, I'm sure it has. How nice to see. Well, the award being presented for the toy group by the Dodger and by Countess Rothermere. Being presented, Francis Prosperi. And he'll be competing in, well, just about one hour from now, they'll be back for best in show. What a moment. Just have time to get a breather and relax. And, uh, and there's the, the wonderful, oh. the crowd very pleased to see this marvelous performance by this young handler and his beautiful English toy terrier. Very well deserved. and. <laughs> Very work. He'll have he had, he's so confident. How splendid. He'll have something to tell his teacher at school tomorrow, won't I'm sure. Though. Won't he, though? What a moment. Well, it's a great moment for all of them in that ring. Some wonderful toy dogs. I love looking at these toys. They are fantastic little dogs with great hearts. And yet another major rosette for... Bert Eason. But there's the Maltese looking as spectacular as it's possible to be. And about to do a spin before going for its lap of honour. Hasn't put a foot wrong all night. 
great courage, composure.